What's going on everyone? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be learning this really cool effect on how to make a certain part of your body, not the one that you're thinking of, be much bigger and also make it have like this cool cartoony balloony effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our photo and put it into Photoshop first. Um, and then after that, we're going to take our quick selection tool. And if your photo is on a clean background, it should work. Um, press the select subject tool. This is in the newer versions of Photoshop where the AI does it by itself. So we're just gonna let it do the selection. And you can see it's cut me out really, really well. But um, for the sake of this tutorial, we're actually not gonna use my entire selection. We just want the face. So first, we're gonna, cr we're gonna unselect everything. This might take a little while. I'm just gonna do it very quickly because uh, we don't want a long tutorial. So get rid of all the selection. And um, yeah, it's gonna take a bit, you know. But make sure to do this much better when you have extra time because um, it'll come out cleaner. It'll be much more refined and much, you won't have any pixels randomly show up later, which is not <laughs> the best thing to experience when you're almost done your, t your tutorial or your uh, edit. So see here, it's jumping up there. So we're gonna add that back in. It's a little hard, my hair's curly, so it doesn't <laughs> detect it nearly as well. Um, but it's, it's working. Um, oops. Okay. So, and to, to select, it's going to automatically add the plus sign. So it'll add things. So to unselect stuff, you're going to hold old alt. So it'll get rid of things. Um, and that's how you'll refine your selection. So, okay. So this looks like it's pretty good. Um, so now go another layer via copy. Um, and now you can see the coolest part is Oh, actually, before you do any of this, make sure you have a background layer. Um, sorry, uh, duplicate of your background layer. You're gonna want this for later. It's just gonna make it so whatever the original photo was is untouched completely. And you can see if I unselect both these layers, my face is cut out. So you can see the, I didn't realize that selection was there, but whatever, we're just gonna erase it. Um, no one needs to know. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now we have our picture back on. So all you're gonna do, is most people think you have to make your photo, like the face of your photo bigger, but, um, the, sorry, the photo of your face bigger. <laughs> but uh, no, actually what you're gonna do is you're gonna make everything else smaller because you don't want anything else to be blown out proportionately and also to have pixels become blurry and digitalized and all that stuff, it doesn't look cool. So we're gonna do the opposite. So take your background picture and lower it. And you can see we're already getting that effect. So, I mean, obviously it was better refined. It would look way better, but you can see how the effect's really taking to shape now. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna keep playing with that. Let's make it even smaller. Cause you know, you really want this this part to stand out. So it looks much better, much um, more obvious in certain places. Um, you can see my edit on my Instagram. Um, I made two different edits for it. You can look at that. Um, so you can see we have our effect now, but do not export it like this because you'll have this really weird aspect ratio. It's not cool. So instead, take the crop tool and just go to where your picture starts and ends and just crop it and then just hit OK. And you should have it like this and then just export it like this and, you know, just add any other cool effects that you want. You can even, um, let's say I want to select myself again. If you have, again, this works best if you have a plain background because there's nothing in the background to really show different things that are there. So, you know, let's go and let's select the layer via copy. And then you can see everything else in the background. We can just make it, let's say we want to, you know, it's black right now, but let's turn it to blue. All you have to do Take the layer we just created and then bring everything else to the front. And you can see now we have our color changed for the background. And all you have to do is cut out yourself and then, um, you know, the edited part, the photo um, of your face. And then just everything else is there. You can also take out the stool and stuff if you really wanted to, but like you just have to go and select that and then cut it out manually. But uh, that's the easiest way to do it. So you can have this really cool back, different background effect just with that simple uh, cut out. 
So definitely use this in whichever way you can. It's really cool for some photos and um, some different scenarios. But if you really like this video, please comment down below and like so I can know what else to make. Please subscribe for my future videos and thanks for watching. Bye.